Hey guys, today we are going to continue looking at solving systems of equations algebraically. We are going to look at a method called elimination. So we're going to answer the question, how do I solve systems of equations with elimination involving matching coefficients? So elimination is just another method to solve system of equations by adding or subtracting the equations together to eliminate one of the variables. So here are the steps that we're going to follow. The first thing that we need to do is align up the equations to match those common variables. So if they're not lined up, we will rearrange one or both of the equations so that the variables are lined up. Then we will either add or subtract the equations to eliminate the variables with the common coefficients. And then we will have a new equation with one of the variables eliminated so that we can solve for that remaining variable. And then just like the end of the substitution method, we will substitute this answer into either of the original equations and then solve for the other variable. So let's look at this first equation. I want to eliminate the x's or eliminate the y's so that I can then solve for either x or y. If you notice, the y's already have opposite coefficients. So that means if I add these equations together, the y's will eliminate. So let's go ahead and add these equations together. So x plus x is 2x. Negative y plus y is a zero pair. It eliminates. And then 1 plus negative 9 is negative 8. And now I have this simple equation where I can solve for x. All I have to do is divide by 2. So x equals negative 4. So I have my first variable, x equals negative 4. Now I'm going to plug it into either of the original equations and solve for y. I'm just going to plug it into the top one. It really does not matter which one you plug it into. So I'm going to replace x with negative 4 minus y equals 1. And now I just have to solve for y by adding 4 to both sides. And I get negative y equals 5 and then divide by negative 1. So y equals negative 5. So here's the x, negative 4. Here's the y, negative 5. So that means the solution to this system is negative 4, negative 5. Okay, number 2. My x's and y's and constants are already lined up, so I don't need to rearrange this equation. My x's have the same coefficient of 1. However, if I add these together, that would create a 2x. So what we need to do is subtract this bottom equation. And I am not just subtracting the x. I'm also subtracting the negative y and the 3. So what I find is easier to do is to rewrite this as an addition problem. What I'm going to do is change this to plus and then just distribute the negative to everything. So I don't have to think about subtracting and accidentally mess up the signs. So that top equation is staying the same. And then the bottom equation, I am changing the sign of everything. So it'll be a negative x, a positive y, and a negative 3. And now I can just combine these that I distribute that negative and x minus x or x plus negative x will eliminate like I wanted it to. And then 4y plus y is 5y and 13 minus 3 is 10. So whenever you have to subtract, that's what I like to do. Just go ahead and distribute that negative out to everything and then combine. And now all I have to do to get y by itself is divide by 5, and I get y equals 2. So now I have y equals 2. I can substitute it into either of the equations. I'm just going to go ahead and substitute it into that top equation. So it'll be x plus 4 times y was 2 equals 13. So x plus 8 equals 13 and then subtract 8 from both sides and I get x equals 13 minus 8 is 5. So now I have both the variables x is 5, y is 2, so the solution to this system is 5, 2. 
Okay, let's look at number three. So if you notice, my variables are the exact same. So it, the X's and the Y's will eliminate here. Let's see what type of statement I'm left with. So in order to get these to eliminate, I'm going to have to subtract this whole bottom equation. So I'm gonna go ahead and distribute out that negative and rewrite it so I don't mess up any of the signs. So the top equation will stay the same. And then this bottom equation will become negative 6x plus 8y equals positive 13. And now when I combine these equations, I don't have to worry about the signs. 6x plus negative 6x eliminates and negative 8y plus 8y eliminates. So I'm left with 0. And then negative 20 plus 13 is negative 7. So my variables eliminated and I'm left with a false statement. So that means that there is no solution to this system. Okay, number four, if you notice the Y's are already lined up, the X is already lined up, the numbers are already lined up. So I can go ahead and eliminate without having to rearrange. I'm going to be subtracting to get those Y's to eliminate. So I'm going to rewrite this with all of the signs of the bottom equation changed. And now I can combine. So y plus negative y eliminates and there's nothing else left on that side so I'm gonna put zero. And then 3x plus negative x is 2x and four plus two is six. So now I just need to solve this equation for x. So I'm going to subtract six from both sides and I get negative six equals two x and then I'm going to divide by two and negative six divided by two is negative three. So I have x, it is negative three. This time I'm going to plug in negative three to the bottom equation to solve for y. Just looks a little bit easier to me. So I get negative three minus two. So y equals negative five. So x was negative three, y was negative five. So the solution to this system is negative three negative five. All right, on number five, my equations are not lined up. I have X and Y on the left side of the top equation and only Y on the left side of the bottom equation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the X over to this side so that my equations will line up. So I'm going to subtract 4x and I'm gonna rewrite my equations over here. So the top equation is staying the same, 4x plus y equals negative 10. And then that bottom equation will become negative 4x minus y equals positive 10. All right, now they are lined up and it looks like these equations are complete opposite. So let's see what happens when I combine them together to eliminate. So 4x plus negative 4x eliminates, y plus negative y eliminates, so that side is zero. And then negative 10 plus 10 is also zero. So we are left with a true statement here where our variables zeroed out. So this is infinite solutions. All right, last one, my variables are not lined up. This top one is in standard form. I have two X plus four Y equals 10. This bottom one is X equals four Y minus 2.5. So what I'm gonna do is move the Y to the left side of the equation in the bottom one, and then it will be in standard form like the top equation. And I'm gonna rewrite these over here. So top equation stays the same, two X plus four Y equals 10 and then that bottom equation will be x minus 4y equals negative 2.5. So now I can combine these. I can just add. I don't have to subtract here to eliminate the y's. 
and 2x plus x is 3x, and then 10 minus 2.5 equals 7.5. And then we're gonna divide by three, and we get x equals 2.5. So I have my x value, now let's plug it in to one of the equations to find the y value. I'm going to plug it into that original top equation, so it'll be two times 2.5 plus four y equals 10. Two times 2.5 is five plus four y equals 10. And then I'm going to subtract five from both sides and I get four y equals five. And then I'm gonna divide by four and five over four is a decimal of 1.25. So I have my X, I have my Y, so that means my solution is 2.5 comma 1.25.